What's going on everybody? My name is Mako and this is my Zcam E2. I built pretty much this entire rig out of small rig parts, so I'm sure you can find everything you see here on their website, except the V-mount, which I'll talk about a little later. I try to keep my rig as simple and as clean as possible because I'm just a run and gun kind of guy and the more accessories I add, the more things seem to get in my way. Using a follow focus or a shoulder rig just doesn't really work for me as I like to jump back and forth between shooting on a glide cam and shooting handheld pretty often. The monitor that I'm using is the Portkeys BM5. This thing is built like an absolute tank and it's extremely bright coming in at 2000 nits. It's got some great assist features, but the main reason why I picked up this monitor is the ability to control the Z cam through the touchscreen of the monitor itself. This top handle that I'm using was actually designed by another Z cam owner. I think it's the perfect size and complements the camera well. It's also got a sneaky Allen wrench built into the side, which is super clutch for when you're in a pinch. For the side handle, this is actually a custom design that I sent over to Small Rig, and they were kind enough to bring it to life for me. I really wanted something that sat closer to the side of the camera and didn't stick out too much. This allows me to tuck the camera into my body while shooting handheld and get much more stable footage. It also allows me to access the custom function buttons on the front right side of the z -Kin. For glass, I'm shooting on the Sigma Art 18-35 and 50-100 combo. These two lenses are absolutely incredible and cover all the focal lengths I'll pretty much ever need while shooting on the E2. The 5100 is a pretty big and beefy lens, so whenever it's on the camera, I always make sure to use a lens support so that way there it doesn't damage my Metabone speed booster or even the lens mount on the Z-Cam itself. I chose to power the entire rig with the V-mount because they last forever and I really like how it adds some weight to the backside of the camera. It really helps with balancing out the rig. This V-mount was actually designed by another Z-Cam user and I think it's the perfect solution if you're looking to go this route. I'm using a couple small strips of velcro to organize my cables. One of them is anchored directly to the cage. This just organizes my cables and keeps everything neat and out of the way. Besides the image quality, I think what I love most about this camera is just how versatile it can be. Although I'd much prefer the look of a glide cam versus a gimbal, they're both tools for specific jobs, so here's how I break down my rig to be used on my Ronin S. The E2 is powered by Sony NPF style batteries, so by swapping out my V-mount for a much smaller battery, it allows me to mount to the Ronin S with no problems at all. If you were to run a Micro Four Thirds lens on the Z-Cam, you could even get away with mounting this thing on a much smaller gimbal. I'm currently using the Sigma 18-35 Art. This lens is pretty long and it's pretty heavy, so in order to achieve proper balance on the Ronin, I'm using counterweights. Small Rig actually makes a special quick release plate for the Ronin S that allows you to screw in the counterweights. I keep one weight screwed into the left side of the plate and the second weight screwed into the right side of the camera cage. This helps with clearance of the back motor of the Ronin. I have my monitor mounted to a cheap little tilt and swivel mount that I picked up off Amazon and I have that attached to the hot shoe of the DJI switch grip. I'm using a right angled HDMI cable for clearance issues with that back motor of the Ronin. Again, I'm using a few more Velcro strips to keep this cable managed and out of the way. I'm a big fan of this DJI switch grip. I can quickly slap on this left side handle if I want another base of support. And if I'm feeling a bit cheeky, I can even toss on a second handle in the underslung position and get those low angle shots with the Ronin super easy. Thank you guys for taking a look at my Z-Cam E2 rig and I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. 